As you probably know, Cherry makes a silent switch stem. They use it in their Cherry Silent Black and Silent Red switches. Gateron also manufactures silent stems that have cushioning in them, and these are used in both the Zeal Silent switches as well as the Alias switches sold by KBD fans. Now, if you've used these both, you may have noticed that the ones made by Gateron, such as the Alias and the Zeal Silents, aren't as quiet as the ones made by Cherry. For example, here is a switch that has a Cherry Silent stem in it. And if you'll notice, I'll move the microphone closer so you can hear. As I cycle this stem, regardless of what angle I use to cycle the stem, regardless of whether I apply off-axis force to the stem while I'm actuating the switch, the switch is pretty silent in all conditions, as you'll hear. Now, for comparison, here's an alias switch. If I do the same test, you'll notice that at certain angles the switch is silent, and at other angles you'll hear some additional noise. The noise is worse in this position. So the noise is worst when the stem is bent towards the legs of the stem. So I noticed this and I wanted to get to the bottom of why. So, to explain the reason for this noise, I have a cutaway switch here. Now this is actually an alias housing. For the purposes of this demonstration, there aren't any differences between the alias housing and the zeal housing that would make, that would uh, affect this noise. So, the same problem that you have with the alias housing is also there with the zeal housing. So if you notice, looking at the cutaway with the stem, this is a Zeal Xylent stem. When the switch bottoms out, yeah, let's get it lined up here. At some angles, the first thing to bottom out is actually the leg. You can probably see right there the leg. The leg of the switch can touch the stem. Now of course the leg is not dampened. It's just plastic so when that leg touches the housing it's gonna make a noise. It's gonna make that tapping noise that you sometimes hear with these type of switches. Now it doesn't do it at all angles. If the switch is pressed perfectly on center, what you get is actually not the cushioning pad at the bottom here, but the cushioning pad that's up underneath will contact. So up where the spring goes. So if you have a perfectly on center press, then the cushioning behind the stem where the spring seats will hit first. So that's the best case scenario. And that's why sometimes it sounds quiet. But unfortunately 
in the worst case that leg hits instead so for example if your switches are in the uh, south facing LED cutout position and you hit the top edge of your switch you might hear this tapping noise as the uh, leg hits the bottom housing so that's unfortunate um, so so you can see there and actually the funny thing about these switches made by Gateron is that the cushion on the bottom does nothing you can see under no condition does it ever actually hit the housing at least not in not in this housing unless your housing is somehow different than mine in my case it's always either the leg that it touches or it's the cushioning up up underneath where the uh, spring seat is this cushion here is useless it's too small it doesn't reach down far enough now um, cherry silence don't have that problem because the cushions are different the leg sticks out just as far I believe but the cushion sticks out farther so if you look for comparison here's a cherry silent stem and you see how the cushion actually sticks out farther than the leg <laughs> the the, which, which is how it should be but you know that does make it uh, so the the piece of rubber that that uh, sticks out is longer so that does make the bottom out a little bit squishier than the zeal islands but uh, on the other hand it's kind of worth it if it makes the switch actually silent compared to a switch that's that's not actually silent see even if even if the stem is pressed at an angle before the leg has a chance to bottom out the cushion does you see the cushion compressing before the leg can touch so you're gonna get a pretty good silencing effect in that case now you may have noticed if you really mash your zeal silence I mean your uh, MX silence which is or MX silence for that matter if you mash them hard enough you can still get that leg to bottom out and make a noise but it's, it's a lot harder because of that additional cushioning whereas it's pretty easy to produce that sound with the Gateron made stems so just to confirm that this was really happening and that it wasn't uh, some artifact of something some unusual condition caused by cutting the switch apart or just to eliminate any uh, doubt I did a little experiment where I took one of these switches in this case it was an alias and I colored the legs with some sharpie and then see here's you can see the sharpie that I put on the legs and then I cycled the switch at different angles and checked the housing to see if any of the sharpie rubbed off here's the housing so do you see that black mark that's, that's where the sharpie rubbed off All right in case you can't tell where I'm talking about it's right there right there so you can you can see where the sharpie rubbed off on the housing because that leg was hitting the housing so in my mind this is kind of like a design flaw with these switches and it uh, it really limits how silent they can be compared to the cherry silent switches um, if zeal decides to do another revision of these to try to fix that issue Maybe you could think of a way to solve that. 
maybe for example this place where the cushion is at the bottom if if they don't want to make the cushion bigger because they don't want it to be squishy then maybe they could actually make the plastic extend farther down so that the cushion still protrudes the same amount from the plastic but then the plastic body of the stem itself extends farther down towards the bottom of the housing that's one idea but uh, hopefully that'll clear up in case you're wondering why these switches are not as silent as, as you might have expected them to be